Hi everyone, it's Sebastian Solinski, your host during this third add-on series to our e-commerce application with PHP, MySQL, jQuery and PayPal course. As we all know, the technology is constantly evolving. And as web programmers, we need to make sure that our code is up to date for many reasons. One of the most important ones is the security. Majority of the platform updates, in our case PHP, are there to improve security, performance, and to make our life as programmers easier by providing new and expanding the existing functionality of the given language. This is the third add-on series to the main e-commerce course, and you should by now complete the following three courses. E-commerce application with PHP, MySQL, jQuery, and PayPal. Static URLs, meta tags, and recent activation email, which is the first add-on. Shipping address and shipping cost, which is our second add-on. In this course, we will have a look at how to upgrade our database class to use the PHP data objects. In short, PDO extension, which provides a lightweight and consistent interface for accessing databases in PHP. PDO uses a set of drivers, which allow it to interact with not only MySQL database, but also with other widely used databases these days, which include Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, PostgreSQL, SQLite, and many more. Apart from the PDO, we will also introduce the namespaces, which have been added to PHP from version 5.3. Therefore, in order to be able to proceed with the instructions in this course, you have to make sure that your server has a version of PHP 5.3 or higher. We will replace the PHP mailer, which we've been using for email processing purposes, with the mail component of Zend Framework 2, which also uses namespaces. We will create a custom exception handler to catch any exceptions that haven't been caught within the try catch block. This is to prevent any sensitive information from being displayed to the visitor, as our custom exception handler will display the message based on the current environment which will be either production, in other words, live, or development. Lastly, we will have a look at the naming conventions and apply them accordingly throughout the entire project. Now, without further ado, let's move to the next video.